Hello and welcome to the fourth installment of Empower Yourself Self-Defense. My name is Elizabeth, and today we're going to be talking about elbows and knees. In self-defense and in karate, I've found that elbows and knees are really underappreciated because they have a lot more surface area than a punch or a kick, and it's a lot more power that goes behind it, so it can do a lot more damage. So another really cool thing about elbows and knees is just that they're really simple. If you think about a hand strike and the amount of joints that it uses, an elbow is really good because it only uses the shoulder. If you think about a different hand strike that's using all the different fingers, you have to think about all the finger joints and the wrist and the elbow and the shoulder. So because there's a lot more joints in the complex ones, there's a lot more things to go wrong and there's a lot more moving elements. Okay, so now that we've talked about some of the basics and just generally why elbows are good, we're going to talk about three different types. So the first type of elbow that we're going to talk about is just the simple roundhouse elbow. With this one, basically it's like a roundhouse punch or like a roundhouse club. You're just going around and striking with this part of your elbow. Since there's a lot of force, that can go to the face and it can incapacitate, just hit them in the face, cause pain, distract a person really easily. So next is the rising elbow, which as it sounds, it's an elbow that goes straight up. With this one, it's important that your palm would be right next to your ear, so it's not down, but it's to the side, because that turns the bone in a certain way that it makes it better to strike with. So you just strike up, it's really good to the chin, it'll send your head back, and just incapacitate whoever's attacking you. The next elbow is going to be just a backwards driving elbow. It's really good if somebody's like grabbing you from behind and you can just send your elbow into their stomach, into their solar plexus, and that'll make them let go of you. Okay, so now that we've talked about the three main types of elbows, we're going to move on to knees. two different types of knees, but there's two different main purposes that they can be used for, so I'm going to split them up. First is just a very simple knee. This is really good to hitting the groin, because it's obviously going to cause a person to double over, and you can get a lot more power than you can with a typical kick, because there's only one joint that's helping to move. The second way that knees can be used is if you want to go a bit higher up. So if you grab somebody's head and you bring it down into your knee at the same time your knee is going up, it can hurt their head a lot and distract them enough for you to get away. And anytime you're grabbing somebody's head, whether it be to knee them in the face or just to attack in their face, remember that you can also grab the hair, or you can grab the ears, basically grab whatever you can take to hold on to. And a lot of those ways can actually cause more pain than just grabbing the head altogether. So elbows and knees, just in general, are really good strikes because they're incredibly powerful, they're very versatile and can be used for almost anything, and it's almost impossible to mess up. So they're really good things to remember if you ever are actually in an emergency because you can just get somebody away from you by throwing a couple elbows or knees. Well, I think that's all for today. So hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. And if you're ever in a situation where you need help like that, just always try to run away. So if you can get a good knee into their groin or into their face, then just run. Try to get help. Call 911. Help yourself. That concludes this video. Next time we're going to be talking about how to escape grabs and chokes. So until then, hope you enjoy the video. Hope you learned something. Stay safe.